Former President Donald Trump has publicly lashed out against the judge who ruled last Tuesday, September 26, that he had committed fraud. News.com has learned that Trump, who is accused of persistently inflating the value of his assets, attacked Judge Arthur Engeron of the Supreme Court First Judicial District in New York as well New York Attorney General Letitia James in a series of social media posts just hours before he was due to appear in court. The decision has stripped the former president of some of his New York assets and could potentially impose a $250 million penalty on Trump and his company. This ruling leaves the Trump Organization without a business certificate, meaning they can no longer operate within the state of New York. Trump wrote that he would go to court on Monday, October 2, and fight for my name and reputation and against the corrupt and racist Attorney General James who has campaigned on getting Trump. Then, in an attempt to turn the tables on Judge Engeron, Trump stated it is actually Engeron who was in fact fraudulent. He values Mar-a-Lago, in Palm Beach, Florida, at $18 million, when it is worth 50 to 100 times that amount. His valuations are fraudulent in pursuit of election interference, and worse. This whole case is a sham. See you in court, Monday morning, he posted on Truth Social. Trump then continued to berate the two legal practitioners, the judge, Arthur Engeron, refuses to accept our big win in the Court of Appeals, nullifying much of the case that the racist Attorney General of New York, Letitia James, has charged us with. Nobody can believe it. He said. Finally, he called on Engeron to be sanctioned by the courts for abuses of power and intentional and criminal interference with the 2024 presidential election. He said Engeron should resign from the bench. Likewise, Letitia James should resign for purposeful and criminal election interference. She is fully aware that Mar-a-Lago, and other assets, are worth much more than what she is claiming. Both of these Democrat operatives are a disgrace to New York, and to the United States of America. He stated. James has argued that Trump has value of his properties by as much as $2.2 billion stating, we look forward to presenting the rest of our case at trial. While Engeron has written that the financial statements he had submitted to banks and insurance companies clearly contained fraudulent valuations that defendants used in business. Previous reports have shown that in three separate years between 2011 and 2021 Trump has inflated his net worth by as much as $3.6 billion, while attorneys for Trump have stated valuations are highly subjective and disagreements around their legitimacy do not constitute fraud. As the trial now gets underway, the public is likely to get a closer look at the behind-the-scenes operations of Trump's business tactics as well as much sought-after information regarding his elusive net worth.